One more thing about these. Um, say your handle, like for instance on these bamboo ones, say it starts to split on you. You can create a handle for it out of baler twine. So all I'm doing is just I'm keeping some out, looping it up, pulling it up straight, looping it back down, and I'm going to make this kind of wide-ish. And then, just wrap it all the way up, fairly snug, but not so snug that you won't be able to pull your rope back through here in a second. I'll show you. Uh, I like to keep it kind of, kind of snug. And I'll be doing this to all of my other ones, but I just want to show you guys this real quick. Alright, I have, oh boy, won't you know, <laughs> I ran out of Baylor coin. That's a first, oh, that's alright. It still has got a good grip. Um, so you put it through, put this end through the loop, and then just pull it. Now, on the old bows, back in the old days, when we were all making handmade bows, this grip, we pulled the leather right straight down through until it came up the bottom. Or, came out in here, then we just clip it. But for now, that's going to be tight enough. That's a nice clip. And then you just trim off the excess here. And what I'm going to do here is if I decide I'm going to hang it up, I'm going to put a loop in the bottom here. Just a simple one. And then I'm going to trim my tail. And I can, if I don't ever want that for hanging, then I'll just trim it off. But anyway, chicken herder, scarer, whatever. Helps you get them out of your way. <laughs> Have a good one.